Hello friends, welcome back. So I hope you had understood about the order processing that is purchase order and sales order. But mind this thing that in the order processing steps, we had done only the single steps till now. So I'm explaining all the steps first of all, then we'll continue further. For order processing, first step that you had done is purchase order. In case of purchase, uh, what you need to do is you need to form, you need to make a purchase order first of all then after making the purchase order in which you define you uh, mention each and every detail relating to your purchase so after purchase order what happens is the person to, uh, to whom you are sending the purchase order sends the goods and when that vendor sells the goods to you uh, sends the goods to you then at the gate at the entry gate a particular note, a particular document is prepared that is known as receipt note. What is receipt note? Receipt note is basically a document in which each and every details related to the goods that are received are mentioned with the details of that goods, the quantity of that goods, the rate of that goods, the uh, or you can say each and every details that you need to be verified. So the receipt note is prepared at the time when your company received goods from that particular vendor. So after that, what happens when the receipt note is received? After receiving the receipt note, this document is gone to the accounting department, that is accounts department of your company, wherein accounts department matches or verifies or you can say cross check the purchase order and receipt note both of them together that actually what we had ordered and what actual quantity or actual goods has been received after cross checking each and everything related to purchase order and receipt note now comes where your purchase entry is done that is your purchase invoice is created is this clear to you? And after creating the purchase invoice, let's suppose you have ordered 100 goods of uh, 100 buckets of a paint. So in case you have received only 80 buckets of that particular paint from that purchase order. So how much purchase invoice you will post? Obviously, 80 for that particular 80 buckets, your purchase invoice will be posted. Now, the second case comes here is purchase order has been created for 100 units and the receipt note is done for the 100 units as well. Like you have received the goods of 100 units, but now at the time of manufacturing or at the time of your construction, you notice that 20 buckets are defected. So what you will do? You will create 100 units for purchase invoice and after that you will create one more document uh, document that is your purchase return document or you can say voucher so this is how your actual order processing for purchases goes on order processing or you can say order process in case of purchase now if i talk about the sales the same way sales goes on like i kept i posted a voucher for sales order and after that what will going to post what will going to create in spite of reset note now we'll create here the delivery note that from our company this quantity of units have been delivered after that, what will be created? Your sale invoice. And if there might be some returns in case, then the sale return voucher will be created. So this is how your order processing goes on in case of purchase and in case of sale. So first step, purchase order and sales order we had created in the last lecture. Now in this lecture, we'll be creating a receipt note and del delivery note for the respective purchase order and sales order. So coming back to our tally prime, now as we had done for the purchase order and sale order voucher type, just click here on the alter and select here the voucher type. Go to the receipt note voucher. Now you have to activate this option, this voucher type by entering here yes and 
press control a the same way you will go for the delivery note as well i am activating this voucher type by entering yes and just press control a now go back select here the vouchers go to other vouchers and you can select here the reset note or you can use the shortcut key as well alt f9 now here i am putting the date now the next i am taking the party that is i am order number now there is a list of order number displayed in front of you you have to select from the list of purchase orders that against which purchase orders you are receiving the goods or you are receiving the units so i am selecting here de1 now this is end of the list mode of terms or payments i am not selecting and then you can give here the reset note i am giving random number dispatch through truck you can give the details and then enter enter control a and then purchase account and all the things are automatically get activated or displayed in front of you as per the purchase order so i am clicking here tracking number is are this and you can press here control a now this is how you can post your receipt note that actually you have received all the units as you had mentioned in your purchase order so i am going back to display more reports statement of inventories purchase order outstanding now if i go to purchase order outstanding and i am pressing here all orders so you can see there are no more purchase orders pending left in your details in your reports so is this clear to you that we had received all the goods related to that particular purchase order now the same way you can do for the sales as well go to vouchers press f10 select here the delivery note alt f8 select here your party now you can select here your sales order number and select here control a or you can provide each and every detail as displayed sales account you can see in the same way that we had done in reset note the same things the same details that we had mentioned in purchase order or sales order has been displayed in front of you in the case of reset note and delivery note so control a press control a and you can see the reports your reports here your inventory statement of inventory sales order outstanding all orders and you can see there are no sales order due till date so this is how this is the simple way that you can post your receipt note and delivery note as well so with this lecture we are we had completed with our order processing step 2 purchase order and receipt note in the next lecture we i'll be showing you the purchase invoice and sale invoice once again uh, in respect to uh, in respective to then these purchase orders and receipt notes only so as you know we had done earlier purchase invoice and sale invoice in the simple way but now in the next lecture i'll be connecting i'll be incorporating this process once again in front of you so till then please practice and enjoy bye bye